this w indirectly, yes, the Boston Tea Party becomes the final straw that leads to war because Parliament says this is the final straw. We're now going to have to revise the Charter of Massachusetts. We're going to close the Port of Boston until they repay the East India Company for its losses. We're going to change some other things about the way we administer jo uh, the law and justice in America. Uh, we are going to pass a group of acts that are going to be called the Coercive Acts or the Intolerable, act intolerable Acts in 1774. They are going to pass all of these laws to punish Massachusetts, to punish Boston, um, and in, they, they're hoping that they're going to then create a scapegoat out of Boston and Massachusetts and isolate them from the other American colonies and kind of, you know, lance that one boil that's been pestering them. Uh, but it backfires. And the other American colonists become outraged at what Parliament does to Boston, at what Parliament does to Massachusetts. And that is what leads to the meeting of the First Continental Congress, uh, the, the militia, uh, various state, um, state groups and local groups organizing uh, in protest, various groups in Massachusetts organizing against Great Britain. That, that is going to lead to the increased tensions that eventually explode at Lexington and Concord in April, on April 19th.